Hi, and welcome to Policy Maps video training session. My name is Phil Vu, and I'm head of training and technical support. We're very excited to give our users the ability to add their own data onto Policy Map. Subscribers can now create unique address level data sets to share with others or to overlay on top of Policy Maps thousands of data layers. To get started, click onto the Upload Edit button on the very top. This will begin your process in creating a new data set. There are three steps in initially creating a data set. First, select the method you will load data. For the moment, users can only add sites directly onto the map, so select this option. The ability to upload data via a spreadsheet will be coming soon. After selecting the method of loading data, you need to give your data set a name. And finally, decide on how you want to share this data set. You can create a data set just for your own use, which will not be seen by others. You can make it available to the public to, to be seen on the Maps page, located in the Add Sites section under Subscriber Published Sites. If this, select the category the data set would fall into. Or you can share it with individual users just by adding their email addresses. Shared users will receive a link to view your data set, and any individuals who are not currently a Policy Map subscriber will receive a new login as well. Once you set up your data set, click on Begin Adding Sites to start adding addresses. Just like the Maps page, you can start by using the Set Location bar to zoom into a neighborhood. To add an address, use the Enter Address for Site button, which will locate your address, drop an icon in that location. Or you can simply click anywhere in the map to drop an icon. After finding a site or adding a site by selecting a point on the map, you can customize each location with the following options. All locations must have a title. The description box is an open text box that allows you to add as much information as you would like for the site. Additionally, you can add an image for the site. Images are not hosted in Policy Map, so you should link the, link the location of the image in the box. Users can also change the icon represented for all sites by selecting the box next to the title. This will show you a selection of icons in various styles and colors. Please note, changing the icon will change all icons for this data set. Repeat this for all addresses or points you want to add to a data set, and all locations added to the data set will be shown on the left side of the map. At any time, you can edit a location by selecting the pencil icon or delete a location with the, the delete icon. When you are done adding sites to the data set, select Save. Users can create a new data set at any time by selecting the Create New Data Set tab on the top or edit a, a save data set. The Access Edit My Data Set tab will display all previously created data sets. When you select the tab, Click the pencil icon or the name of the data set to open and begin editing. In editing, you have the same functions as you did when you first created the, da the data set. You can change the name, how it's shared, add or remove sites, edit existing sites, or download the data and list of all the sites into a spreadsheet. To load your data sets on the Maps or Analytics page, we've added a, new, a few new menus in the Add Sites section. My Sites will show all the data sets you have created. My Sites will also include data sets that have been shared with your account from another user. Subscriber Published Sites underneath are data sets that have been chosen to be shared with the public, as well as data sets that have been processed by our team for our subscribers. All data sets will show the author who created it and when it was created. And any data sets that you've worked on can be edited just by selecting the pencil icon. This will take you to the Upload Edit Data tab with your data, data set already loaded. Thank you for watching our video. We offer free weekly online trainings which will cover other unique features on Policy Map. If you have any questions or would like to sit in a training, please contact us at info at policymap.com or call us at 866-923-MAPS. Thank you very much.